Hi, uh, my name's Natalie Coleman and I won last year's MasterChef 2013. I'm here to show you how to create some of my recipes that have been inspired by East Village and all my favourite shops and producers in the area, so I hope you like them. So the first recipe I'm going to show you is my gin cured salmon and we're using this lovely gin so uh, we source this locally and we've also got some lovely salmon that we got from our local fishmonger which is H. Foreman and Son. So I'm going to start by making the cure for the salmon. We've got some juniper berries which go really well with gin and we've got some black peppercorns. So I'm just going to pop these into a dry pan and we're going to toast them off. The next bit of our recipe, we need to get our rock salt and we've just got some ordinary caster sugar also that will go in with that. So we're just going to pop that into our bowl, just like that. And then we're going to add our spices, so our black peppercorns and our juniper berries. So we'll just give it a good little grind. And as you can see, that's about right to add to our cure. Maybe get a smaller pestle and mortar, because this one's a bit heavy. And then to that, our lemons and our limes, and then our gin. So it's a bit like a gin and tonic salmon. Um, but don't worry, you won't get drunk off this one. So this is where you get your hands sticky now. So you get the rest of the cure, and you want to massage it into the fish, so give them a little rub. And then we want to wrap it tightly in cling film, and then put it straight into your fridge. So we've taken our salmon out of the fridge, and I've just removed the cling film. And so this is what it will look like after. And as you can see, the flesh is firmed up a bit. So you want to wash it under cold water, otherwise it will ruin the fish. So now he's had his little bath, he's just ready to slice up and serve. We're going to serve our salmon with some beautiful sourdough that we've got from the E5 Bakehouse. So, you know, this is like a nice sharing dish. Everyone dips in. But um, in my case, don't let it go to your dad first, because my dad would eat the whole lot before you'd even got your turn. So don't pass it to dad.